we're back sourcing challenge weekly uh once again we actually yeah we promised you weekly so we're back again for another week uh today is the 19th of january 2021 uh, i'm back again with my good friend dove dove how how's your week been it's been overwhelmingly okay. <laughs> <laughs> you're, uh, it's, it's you're still in lockdown in the UK, so uh, yeah, it's... Honestly, I've, I've, I said to myself on Sunday, I'm not going to follow news anymore. Uh, because last week, I think what, what really took me into the wrong place when I would, I would go into bed and I would be like, okay, I'm falling asleep and I'm going to wake up early and then I would go into YouTube for my meditation app, but then I would start watching news and Corona cases and no, 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 all no. the updates from all the world. And I no. would be like 2 a.m. and now I'm anxious. So I said to myself, no more. And uh, so I'm a little better, but it's been a difficult week. I told you, you just, you know, you just give, like I do, you give your YouTube account to a six-year-old. So when you wake up and you go to YouTube, all you're going to get is lots of people playing Roblox. Mm -hmm and sharing it and you know that there's nothing with covid on my youtube like feed because it's all kids playing games or children's shows like counting and learning english so yeah it's like you know that much much easier that way we, we don't we don't have any tv channels so we don't have to follow the news i have to specifically go in and look for it so same i don't have a tv in my house no, oh, oh, sorry, I have it. It's behind the, the, the couch, <laughs> facing the wall, so we don't have That's it. perfect, perfect, exactly. If you're going to stick around to the end of this show, um, please do that. Uh, you will have a chance to win this book, but not just this book. Uh, you will have a chance to win a signed copy by the author, a good friend of both Dov and I, uh, Katrina Collier. Um, so, oh, yes. yes, stick around to the end of the show to uh, find out exactly how you can have a chance to, uh, to win this book. A signed copy. What we wanted to talk about this week as well. Uh, for everybody who's new, uh, this is a weekly show. Um, Sourcing Challenge has been around for a while. Uh, like we're coming up on three year anniversary sometime in February, actually. Um, so what it has been until now and still gonna, it's gonna come up once in a while is an interview show where we interview sourcers, recruiters who source from around the world about how they got into things, what they do in terms of tools. Uh, but what this show was going to be more about is for us, like Dove and I, just to actually talk every week. It gives us an excuse, um, but also to talk about what news are there, what conferences are coming up, and uh, you know, things like that. So that's very much what this is about. And what we wanted to talk about this week uh, was, you know, it's the beginning of the year. We talked about it before, but what can you do to become better? Uh, what can you do to invest in yourself to become better at what you do, or especially in these kind of times, just become better mentally with yourself or your job. Absolutely. And uh, we did mention quite a few things already. Uh, I can't believe it's already our fifth episode. <laughs> Seems like time is flying. And, uh, but yeah, because, you know, I, I don't know if you've noticed, but uh, in my kind of groups of friends, I, I started seeing one really interesting pattern. But when we went into lockdown, last year which started happening depending on the location sometime from mid mid march until like later in the year but people were forced to stay at home and we had no other option right um and yes you know for those who for example were still being paid for doing the job from work from home or not working but being paid as a governmental schemes of some sort they, they had a lot of time to just do things differently. And, you know, when you had those, oh, I want to learn this, I want to do that, I'll, I'll never have time for this. I think that the last maybe 10 months was that time that people were able to use. And I've just noticed a lot of people taking up classes and investing finally into themselves because they were unable to... Uh, maybe get as many lunches at work or takeaways or concerts or alcohol, you know, socializing was limited. So the amount of money that we would normally be spending for all of those things was just, just there. And what happens when people have money, they just want to spend it. Uh, you know, we don't necessarily save it properly, right? Because we're just, especially when you're in London, you're always, always surrounded by sales. You're not going to save, sales, sales, gonna save sales. anything on anything, no. <laughs> Right. So um, and, and I, I would always say that the best thing that you can how you can spend money is when you invest that money into yourself and 
you know, last year, I will be now very open. Uh, my income was pretty limited because I didn't really work much. Um, I was doing just one thing part time. And that was very limited, very different to what I was doing a year before. And however, even from that limited amount that I would received, I managed to put at least half of that into different courses and, you know, buying the technology that I will need. Like even right now, I have technology around me that is helping me to, to make sure that this face is not dark, you know, <laughs> uh, and that is an investment in itself. You know that well. So, um, so my question is, you know, we will be sharing our kind of uh, experiences and tips, but uh, I would see it more like in a discussion that we want to take further and ask everyone who is listening to, to come back to us and share, uh, let's say, what are top three or five things uh, that you wanted to learn, that you learned and how did you do it and maybe how much you spent on it. Because a lot of companies were uh, putting out a lot of special deals and, you know, that made a lot of content more accessible as well. Also, I think specifically what I did, because I had the same thing. All of a sudden, I have way too much time on my hand last year, even though I've been working from home. Um, but yeah, we, I, we talked about this before. We finished a contract and like another one fell through because everybody went in lockdown. Instead of going out, um, I've done a lot of the kind of the recruitment, the sourcing training there is. But instead of going out and looking at more of that, and there were some good deals there. Uh, I think we both looked at the likes of uh, digital marketer doing like Facebook ads, uh, Twitter, how to grow your audience on Twitter, things like that. Things that I wanted to know more about, but had never really had the time, uh, the money, or just kind of like, it, it's one of those things that is like a nice to have, but I don't need it in my daily job. Um, so yeah, both my wife and I were looking into things that we wanted to know for you know, curiosity, but also that we need it for business at a later stage. But there were some really good deals out there on on just being able to do those trainings. Absumo? <laughs> not even not even that. I'm thinking digital marketer was actually giving away access for free um, for like a month or something like that, yeah. which we took full advantage of. Um, oh, because, I remember. I still yeah. have a lot of content that I didn't even have the time to look at. Exactly. That's what happens when you get an overload of content. Because a lot of these contact content creators were just like, they were panicking because they were used to like, you know, doing big launches and all of a sudden people weren't paying like, you know, like a thousand a year for, for things like that. So they were like, we're not getting any more. So like, let's, yeah, let's use this time to kind of get people in like, yeah, like, yeah, that the downside of getting something for free is that nothing is really for free. Now I get two emails a day from you know, from these providers, it's like, oh, you didn't buy and maybe you want to buy and it's a special deal, which I understand. Like I gave them my email address as payment and now I'm, you know, now they're going to hunt me until I buy something from them or I unsubscribe, uh, which I don't because I, I sometimes actually like the copy that like, so again, I like a lot of those um, sales emails because they're quite good at coming up with headlines and copy so i steal a lot of those ideas i'm like oh what makes me click and open it even though i know what it is um so yeah things like that uh, there's loads out there and it doesn't have to cost anything there's a lot of things i mean i i just looked into uh, one of the email tools that i had the other day um they have an email marketing academy um again which is i'm already you know i've already paid for the tool so it's part of kind of my you know tool but they have it there to kind of get, it, it's a lead generation tool for them. It's like, well, look, we do email marketing. This is how you do it well. Uh, but there's a lot of really good information in there that isn't just for email marketing, has a lot of relevance to what I do on a daily level. So like, yeah, sometimes just look a bit outside our little bubble of a niche um, and find out like, you know, what else is out there? And I mean, we talked about it before as well. YouTube is has everything at there's some there's a like, there's a lot of that and and you know uh like i can give a very good example when sometimes when you get into a course uh or when you have an idea what you're going to get from that from that it turns out to be very different and much broader or more in depth so uh one friend of mine who is a brand designer uh brand strategist and a designer uh who was helping with my blogs 
uh, to come up with the branding uh, that we rebranded in December. But we've been talking in the last few years every day. And uh, he said, hey, we need to do something with Instagram in general. And because Instagram is a new thing right now. I mean, it's not new, but <laughs> this is where the business goes. It's no longer you taking selfies just for the sake of taking selfies is business. You can actually make money on Instagram. And, and he was following this brand uh, strategist from Australia and he launched a course. And I remember it was in May and it was $300. Uh, it might sound a lot of money, but when you realistically think what you potentially can get for that, it was lifetime access. Uh, it was on Teachable. Uh, which is basically you can only access with your username. And he said, but whenever there is going to be more content, you will always have access to that. Plus one weekly hour of like a Zoom Q&A. Mm -hmm. And right now this guy, uh, so in a year he grew his company from 500 followers to I think he celebrated 190,000 followers. <laughs> wow. He, in that time, he built his agency to seven figure agency and he still does those Q and A calls every week. But now you have more people, it's 90 minutes and he did reduce the price of the course to $50. And both me and the friend, I was like, wow. However, the cool thing was that I was, when I started the course, I was imagining that it's gonna be all about the strategies and about all of those insights, what you need to know how to use the tool properly. It is a tool. Um, you need to know what to do and what not to do. What I didn't expect that he's gonna have like two hours on how to use Photoshop, Good. right? And before that I was using Canva, which was free and I kind of was already playing around and experimenting and taking things to the next level to where my blog was before visually on Instagram because we had zero presence. But after spending two days on step-by-step -step learning how to do things with Photoshop, I canceled Canva and I subscribed for, to Photoshop the same day. And I bet that if you would go onto my Indie Top 39 page, you would be able to tell from which day I switched to Photoshop <laughs> because the quality is so, like you, you can tell. And this is one example that, uh, you know, at the beginning, you might think that, oh my God, this is a lot of money, especially if your budget is limited. But I would say the most important thing is just to understand the potential of what you can do with that and how it will be the return of your investment. Because uh, two months later, I was approached by one music platform and now that's how my blog is generating income. If we didn't have that presence, none of that would have happened, no. you know, so, uh, so be open. And at the same time, uh, don't count on just sales. Sometimes invest into, uh, you know, things that can be more expensive at the time, but you will see the return in the longer term. So. Yeah, since we're in the new year as well, uh, conferences are back. Um, I saw somebody posting um, a poll uh, online where there were people thought that conferences was going to come back in person and whether they would Phil. join. That was Phil. That was Phil. Uh, yep. And I think most people were like, I don't think it's going to come back. And then the people were like, well, there will be at the end of the year, but I'm not going. Uh, or at, at least it would be in the year. Because I'm like, and I'm like, I don't have a need to go this year because I just don't think it's safe. Um, so yeah, it's good to see. You're starting to get the first ones actually coming out now. Uh, SauceCon is the first one that's kind of gotten on my radar. Um, they will be, I think it's 7th, 8th and 9th of March, uh, SourceCon Digital. So you don't have to travel out to America to uh, actually attend SourceCon. Um, speaker lineups look uh, good as always. Uh, definitely some new names in there that I haven't heard before, uh, but also so, some, uh, some people that I have heard before and I know always bring good, you know, good content to it. Um, the price is probably one of the best things. Uh, it's $300 as far as I could see uh, for a three day event. Uh, which is, if you, like me, have ever had to actually go to America and pay to go to SourceCon, you'll know what that costs. I mean, the ticket in itself is normally, you know, if, if you're lucky and get a, an early bird deal, you can, you know, get five, seven hundred, but it's, uh, it's well into a thousand. And then you have to get to America, hotels and things like that. Um, so, 
getting the best of both worlds of, of getting it for 300. Um, and I know that they're working on um, kind of um, some added digital content as well after the conference so that you can get access to uh, recordings and other things, webinars and things like that. So I know that more is coming on that, but that's kind of included in that. So definitely worth checking out. Um, I'll put a link to, yeah, to SourceCon Digital to the sign up for that in the, the show notes. Um, but yeah, it's, it's definitely, it's the first big one I've seen. I know a lot of the kind of conference organizer are, I hope they listen to Dove and I about what they should be doing. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't see that the, uh, the in-person events coming back. But at the same time, like I know that you've been asked to speak at a couple of conferences as well, though. Um, yeah, so I think maybe just to, to continue with what you were saying about big conferences, I think, you know, generally looking throughout the year, a lot of conferences are more happening in the second part of the year anyway. So typically it's a bit early for conferences right now. Like the, the really the big, you know, the big ones are like what, typically july like it's kind of starts with may no yeah may you know i mean normal. you have a couple in the spring like social germany is in the spring um estonia was closer yeah, was to June. summer uh saucecon has twice a year so that the spring one uh you know and when saucecon was in europe they tended to do it like in the, they tried the spring then they wanted to go fall um, so, la so last yeah, year, so, for example, so, so Amsterdam is always in the fall, and uh, yeah. then you have like uh, you know the UK, uh, what's it called, uh, Recruit Fest is kind of in the summer time. Recruit Fest well. is July typically. Yeah. yeah. So, so yeah, you so, don't yeah, have so, a lot so, in the, so the, there the are, kind of spring. Yeah. So there are a lot of. Uh, I'm sure that. I'm sure that there will be a lot of options still to be announced. Um, yeah, really bizarrely, I was approached by by a few people to. Uh, to share my ideas on some for, on, on some uh, experiences. Uh, so uh, the first one is gonna be recruitment and resourcing conference in Greece, uh, which is amazing because I, it feels like in the last few months, Greece is just calling me. I have <laughs> friends who now live there and um, I have friends who travel there every now and then. And it just, Greece keeps con popping in my world every now and then. So, uh, so yeah, so that's gonna be one. Um, it's really tricky to looking at their website because everything is in Greek. Uh, <laughs> I, I love the way that the, the letters look, but I understand nothing about it, unfortunately. Uh, but it's gonna be on the 25th of February. Uh, so yeah, and then another one is by our friend Liz, uh, who uh, for, for all the sorcerers, even though she's not a sorcerer herself, uh, but she is uh, more coming from a uh, learning and development world, uh, but she's been part of SOSU uh, and other conferences for such a long time. She is typically the, not only someone who's speaking, but she is the one hosting, facilitating and helping other f speakers feel like at home. And she is organizing on the 9th and 10th of February, a two day event that's gonna be L&D Cares Career Growth Summit. Um, so that sounds like a really cool thing. It's not necessarily sourcing related. However, there are quite a few people from sourcing world who will be sharing their um, observations and, and, you know, and their ideas. So I would say this is like two worlds meet in one when you have more like HR and, and, and sourcers and recruiters and blending into one for a few days. So it's gonna be on AirMeet, uh, which is the platform that we already experienced ourselves. It's really cool. Um, yeah, and actually uh, another very different uh, invite that I received uh, recently was to, to speak at the working lunch. And this is the community that started uh, a year ago when the lockdown started as well. So uh, a lot of HR and recruitment people joined forces together and they were doing these lunches and then uh, they decided to turn it into an event. So um, because I just joined one of the discussions on Facebook groups where uh, I made a comment on a person who was looking for a job and she's an agency person trying to get in-house uh, and I made maybe an opinion that was different to what the conversation was in general about. Um, yeah, I was approached uh, by one of the people from the group saying, hey, would the two of you would like to actually exchange your ideas in a more like a longer discussion. So um, that's going to be happening. 
uh, and I'm, you know, going back to what we spoke about when, when I was part of Rec to Rec, when we were helping agency recruiters move in house, there's a lot of, uh, sub, there were a lot of subtle moments, uh, how recruiters see in-house and what in-house is, and I've been both. Uh, so uh, it's gonna be more like a, uh, I think it was gonna be more like a friendly debate uh, rather than a big event. So it's gonna be for an hour. Um, so yeah. And I think uh, it's about time when we can actually tell you how you can want to free, get this baby. And not just a book, uh, what it is. It's already a very good book, but you can actually get it signed by Katrina Collier, who is our friend and the author. And uh, that's a signed copy. I ain't. I know. <laughs> I was supposed to get it as well, but I couldn't attend the um, uh, the um, release. The launch, release the party, release party. Yeah. Party. Yeah. Unfortunately, I was not in the country on the day. <laughs> However. Uh, for those who've been online and maybe uh, looking at what Katrina is doing, uh, should have noticed what she's doing, Robert Recruiter, Robert Proof Recruiter Masterminds. And basically, this is like a 12-month masterclass where she has a small hub of people. It, I think it's only 15 people that she takes on board. Um, and it's a program for a year. Uh, she would be meeting people once a month on a Zoom sessions. And then, of course, in every, during every other uh, week, there's a lot of tasks and, 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 and things that you need to think of and, and prepare. Um, for those who read the book, they know how much well-researched it is, but when you spoke about it. So you can expect, um, basically, the ball being kind of thrown at you. But uh, it, it's exactly it. I mean, yes, you can buy the book and you can read it from cover to cover. Yeah. And then you're going to be like, now what? Because there is, there's so much in that book. I mean, every chapter is packed full of ideas. Uh, we talked about this before as well in another episode. It's like, it's not just Katrina, you know, sharing her experience. It's Katrina working with the people in her network that she knows are subject matter experts to give her ideas. It's like, what would you do in this situation? So the book is a collection of Katrina and Katrina's network. Um, which is like, you know, it's, how much is it? hundred, you know, three, 230 pages. Um, but that doesn't give you what that actually book. Every chapter has so many things in it, which is like, you're going to read the book and you're like, I don't know where to start, um, which is what exactly also, what this mastermind is for. And also you have a lot of footnotes that are links into other resources not just the resources where she took information from, but those are just links into useful, useful, practical things that you can actually use in your day to day or expand on the topic. So, uh, so yeah, so I was invited to join Katrina's mastermind. And because I already have the book, uh, she said that, hey, I still want to give it away and I want to sign it and we're going to ship it to someone somewhere in the world. So for that, what you're going to need to do is Mark's, Mark has a really cool tool that we're going to experiment with. Exactly. So why don't you know more about it? Yeah. So we, uh, I have this tool, like both uh, Dove and I are addicts to AppSumo. Uh, one of the tools that I bought on AppSumo a couple of years ago uh, is something called Viral Loop. So we will be setting up a Viral Loop page specifically for the Sourcing Challenge Weekly Robot Proof Recruiter Mastermind Giveaway. Uh, it's going to run for a week. So uh, this is going to run until Tuesday next week. Um, so that's going to, deadline is going to be 26th of January. Um, essentially PM. at 6 p.m. Um, UK time. UK time. Because this <laughs> is exactly the time when we record the, it, the show. So exactly. You so have time until the recording starts. Yeah. So it's about like share it with your friends. We're going to, you know, we, we're going to give you more opportunity. Like basically the, the more you help us spread the word, the more chances you have to be the winner of this book. Uh, this is something we're going to do. We're going to try it with, with, you know, Katrina's giveaway book. Uh, and it's something we're going to try a bit more. Like there might be other things coming up in the future where we're going to be lucky enough to be able to give away certain things. So uh, yeah, but at the same time, um, help us spread the love and, and get people to, find this show 
um, and at the same time get the chance to well, to get a, a signed copy from Katrina, um, definitely. Now, the book in itself is so much knowledge. Um, and yeah, to get one of the copies that actually been signed by Katrina, definitely worth it. So uh, yeah, go to the link. The link is going to be in the show notes. And if you are one of those people who already have the book or read the book, I'm pretty sure that you know someone who needs it. So you can just share it with your friend as easy exactly. as that. And at the same time, uh, if you thought, if you think like, hold on, I have the book, I read the book but I want more Katrina, uh, who wouldn't, uh, check out the page. I'm going to put a, a link to her page and the mastermind as well. Um, so if you might want to join this mastermind, so 12 months of, you know, Katrina every month, uh, but also just the community around that um, so that you can become a robot proof recruiter and, and like everything around what that means. It's a lot of mindset, uh, not, not just tools. It's very much about mindset and about how to do things. But what it also is, which is what Katrina is the master of, it's about knowing who you know. It's about knowing your network. And it's about using that to, you don't have to know everything. You just have to know who might be able to help you find out, you know, what you're missing. Uh, and th I see this as a really good opportunity for that as well. Build a network of your cohort, like those people who are going to be with you for the next 12 months you're going to be on the same learning path um, and you're going to have each other to ask as well, not just Katrina. Um, so definitely use that. Check out the page, check out the mastermind. Uh, very, very good pricing. So that definitely, if you do have a training budget uh, in your company, if you do have a training budget in, you know, as well, we talked about before, this is the time to kind of, you know, put some value into yourself. This is definitely one of the things that I would look at as something to put into yourself because it's a 12 months long thing. So you keep getting back on it uh, and not just something that, you know, you buy today and then you, you kind of, you run out of it next week. And it's also commitment, which is the hardest thing to think, oh my God, one year, where, we, what we're going to do in one year, what, where, you know, how the world is going to look in one year, right? How the world has changed in a year. Well, but I know. We, 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 you know we're going to celebrate, you know, episode 57 of uh, the Sourcing Challenge Weekly. So uh, definitely. Yeah. And it all starts now. Uh, so the new mastermind starts on the 16th of February, which is what less than a month away. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm lost in days. I think we're three weeks away, <laughs> uh, but it's definitely worth uh, looking at it. If you need more information, um, please send me a message privately. I would be more than happy to, 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 to talk about that. And, uh, and I can give you an example. So um, the importance of community, I've been talking about this all the time. And uh, in the last few years, um, all of the job opportunities and in general, the opportunities that came to me are because of the people around me. And it's because of the people but it's not about the people that I know, but the people that know you, who remember you and who come to you. Uh, you know, Katrina is a great example. And uh, uh, I'll never forget one day when uh, we were already, uh, you know, um, getting to know each other better and meeting at more events. And, and there was this conversation that we were having and uh, there were few people like we were in a, in a circle and, and, and one person said, uh, oh no, Katrina made a, a comment is like, well, if you want me to mentor you, just let me know. And the person just ignored it. And I said, well, I would love that. And then, you know, fast forward a year later, we had another conversation when she's like, you remember, like, I'll never forget that conversation when you actually responded to my comment, but the person that I was intending that to didn't, no. you know? And what I want to show is that uh, it's not about me being different. It's about opportunities that can come from anywhere. So when you're connecting with the right people and connecting for the sake of connecting, not for the sake of, oh, I'm going to strategize and I'm going to use <laughs> this person for that and this person for that. People will smell the hell out of you when you want to use them. It's not about using people. It's about connecting because when you connect, you just want to genuinely help. Yeah, and that's, that's the thing. It's like, no, don't, don't, ex it don't expect anything from people. Like I always go into this, like, what can I help you with? Not because I expect yeah. to get something in return, but I know this, like, if I help you, maybe you're not in a, in a position to help me ever, 
but one day you, you might know somebody that will. So like when, like as Dov said, it's like, and it's not necessarily our, our immediate network is when we put things out there is like, you know, I'm available, I'm looking for a new contract. If anybody hears anything, people remember it's like, oh, hold on, that's the person who helped me. And I like, I remember another friend asking that they're looking, you know, that kind of like those connections are going to be made. If you just, you know, collect people that you've helped, then you'll get it back one way or another, uh, not necessarily from them directly, but like two yeah. different ways. And this is, you know, this is exactly what I'm trying to do with my musicians network right now. I want to, I want to be releasing music in 2021. I can say openly, that's what I want to do. And me building the community around it and trying to help as many musicians as I can, you know, it's an investment into, you know, doing that hopefully full time one day. But, you know, a lot of people like even Gary, uh, Gary V is always saying that uh, you need to put content out there. You need to help people before you ask for anything. Yeah. And, Honestly, Katrina is that person who is giving away so much. I don't remember Katrina ever asking for anything. I just remember her, you know, giving, giving, giving. Like she's speaking, she's, she's speaking at so many events where it's like, look, this is costing me money, but I'm doing it because I know the people that are there are the people that I want to hear this message. Um, that was for the longest time what Katrina would be and that she yeah. still is. It's like, the the book the message she has the mindset she tries to in like instill in people is all around that it's like you need to give yourself and that comes down to everything like when you write a job ad when you write a message to people like is this you and that's what the be human is like well be human be you stop acting like a robot then your job will not be taken by one um, if you are human and if you continue being that then that's like that's very hard to automate but you know and, you need to work on yourself for that yeah and at the same time the best proof of that is when 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 you're known for the slogan be human but then you give away all of your royalties to charity that is actually helping people yeah. so you're not only helping the industry to become better but you're helping other people to become better and i'll never forget that was one of the last events in 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 I think it was early December, you know, in 2019, uh, where I was supposed to be, you know, I was supposed to be talking at one of her previous events, but due to family situation, I was unable. Um, and they were showing this videos, you know, from, from kids who the charity is helping. Seriously, everyone in the audience, we had tears. And, and I, I remember I came to, you know, Katrina, uh, she had like 20 speakers, you know, which is insane to manage for anyone <laughs> who organized yep. anything. Anything more than free is a big, big, you know, challenging thing. And, and I remember I just came to her, I gave her a big hug and I said, I've, I, I, I don't think I've ever been proud of someone as much as what, like the, the, the values and the, you know, the essence of everything is just like, I, I can see that because, you know, she's incredible at connecting people. When you create a space for people to meet, to connect and to, you know, to grow, to become better. And, but she's the most humble person as well. So Absolutely. she might not show that in public, but she, she is just genuinely an inspiration. So um, having access to someone uh, like Katrina yeah, on a more like a one-on-one -on -one basis even if you don't know her personally, is going to be life-changing. So, Absolutely. Excellent. Look, let's wrap it up here. Uh, as I said, no. links is going to be in the show notes. The show notes for this episode is going to be on sourcingchallenge.com uh, slash weekly five. Uh, you can find all the, the old episodes, all the show notes from that. You can follow all, all the Sourcing Challenge show episodes there as well and the show notes for that. Uh, we'll be back next week with another Sourcing Challenge Weekly. Um, in the meantime, uh, yeah, um, give us things that you want us to talk about as well. Uh, give us feedback, but please share this show with anybody who you think could be interested in it, whether that's the audio version on a podcast or, you know, the, the video version on YouTube. 
um, and you know, follow Dov either in his uh, musical endeavors on the, the Indie Top 39 um, or um, you're on Instagram as well uh, as Source with Dov or LinkedIn, Facebook, you know, everywhere where you can find. Uh, you'll find me everywhere as well, um, pretty much on most social networks. Uh, but definitely, yeah, follow us. Um, follow us next week and we'll be back again then. We will be back. And before we head off into the night, uh, for those who are going to want to connect with anyone in your network, just by sending a message to us or to anyone else, please, if you are sending a message to someone you don't know, write a message. <laughs> don't write a simple, like, don't just send, like, I, I, I want to connect with you. I honestly don't, don't respond to that. So just so you know, uh, you need to tell people why you want to connect with them. You are, a, you know, you don't come to a stranger on the street. I want your number. You know, you, there has to be some kind of context. So if you like the show, send a message saying, hey, I like the show. I don't agree with what you said. You know, this is wrong. This is good. Give us some feedback. We need feedback because by getting feedback, we will be able to adjust and grow. This is a new format for both of us. And we want to make it as, as good as possible for you. So you would be enjoying it. We're enjoying talking to one another anyway, but we want to make it useful for you. So give us a follow, give us a share, send it to a friend. And don't forget that you can have a book signed by Katrina Collier with you very shortly. So see you next week. Next week.